intravenous injection and blood collection. The horse is restrained by a halter. If the area over the vein is grossly contaminated, it should be cleaned prior to venipuncture. The location to collect blood and inject into the jugular vein is in the upper half of the neck to prevent inadvertently puncturing the carotid artery. The vein should be raised below the site of the venipuncture with a non-dominant hand. The needle should be firmly pushed through the skin and into the vein at approximately a 30 degree angle whilst keeping the vein raised. The needle may be inserted already connected to the syringe. Once the vein has been pierced, slightly withdraw the plunger to check if the needle is still in the vein. Blood should appear in the syringe. When injecting, the plunger should be depressed slowly. For blood collection, insert the needle by following the same procedure above. The vacutainer should be firmly pushed into the piercing needle. Intramuscular injection, neck. Restrain the horse properly. In an adult horse, the area of choice is in the neck. Locate the injection site a hand's breadth in front of the shoulder or scapula, above the spinal column and below the ligamentum nucae. If the skin at the injection site is grossly contaminated, it should be cleaned prior to the injection. Pinch a small fold of skin firmly between finger and thumb, mini devil's grip, and slide the needle in next to the skin fold with the opposite hand. The needle should be pushed in to the hub. Once the needle is inserted, reconnect to the syringe. Draw the syringe plunger back before injecting to ascertain that the needle is not in a vessel. If there is any sign of blood, the needle must be redirected and the procedure repeated. Other intramuscular injection sites. Gluteal muscle. Stand next to the horse. Locate the injection site a hand's breadth behind the tuber coxae. Insert the needle perpendicular to the skin. Semitendinosus and semimembranosus muscles. Stand next to the horse. Locate the injection site midway between the stifle and pelvis. Insert the needle perpendicular to the skin. Pectoral muscle. The pectoral muscle can also be used. That concludes this DVD program on general horse handling.